Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training. Today topic we are going to discuss on LAN Layer 2. Let's start our part 6. Alright, so let's look into the uh, second lab here. So on the second lab, we are going to configure the link aggregation. Alright, so again, this is a company A. Company A in want to increase the bandwidth, implement loop balancing and improve, uh, improve redundancy. So we have three requirements. First is to configure link aggregation in static LACP mode. And uh, S1 is the actor. Alright, so we are going to configure the priority on S1 so that S1 will become the actor. Second requirement. Configure load balancing based on the source MAC. So remember, the load balance is based on the source MAC address. Okay, and configure 001 and 002 to become active. So we have active, active, and 003 as a backup. Okay, so we have to configure what's the uh, the number, the maximum number of active link as two. And uh, thirdly, ensure that the active interface retain its role after the fault of the active interface is rectified so basically they ask for the uh, preemption all right so let's jump into the lab and see how this is being configured so my switch has just uh, booted up all right so uh, these two switches are just uh, new switches okay so it has not configured anything at all so let me go in and change my system name that's switch number one and this is a switch number two okay so there we have it so let me undo the terminal monitor all right so this is quite annoying so let me disable that now the first requirement is to configure uh, s1 as an actor now for you to configure s1 as an actor you have to configure the lacp priority so that is a default 0265535 and uh, the default value if you never configure anything is 32768 so the lower the number, the higher the priority. Let me configure S100. So on the S2, I'm not going to configure anything. Now next, I'm going to configure the uh, ether trunk. So I do an interface, ETH trunk. Let me configure S12. All right, that's switch one to switch two. Right, so I'm going to configure the mode, the LACP static, okay? Another requirement is to do a uh, loop balance. Okay, so if you look into the loop balance, the question asks for the source MAC address. So I have to do a source MAC address. Okay, and uh, the uh, question also asks for LACP preemption. Okay, so I have to enable the preemption. And uh, the requirement is to have the maximum active link number. Sorry, so it should be maximum active link number. So I have three of these link. So two of these link must be an active. And remember that the requirement is to say that uh, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 are supposed to be the active and uh, Ethernet 3 are supposed to be in backup. And for us to do that, all right, we have to go to the interface. So let's go to the interface 001. First, I'm, I need to make this in the uh, Ethernet trunk member number 12. Okay, then I also have to go to the interface E002. I have to make it into the trunk and the E003. Same thing, I need to make it into the trunk. Okay, so when I do a display ether trunk number 12, you'll notice over here is that I have the uh, priority. And you'll notice the priority by default on the interface is 32768. So currently it's unselected. The reason is because that in switch two, I have not configured anything yet. All right. And uh, I need to configure the uh, switch two to be part of the uh, ether trunk. And uh, what will happen here is that switch number one will always become the actor. So let's jump to switch number two. Okay. So let me undo terminal monitor first, system view. I'm not going to configure any priority because I want to show you the default priority. I need to do a ether trunk, okay, 12. Mode is LACP static, LACP static. Then I just go to the interface E001, ether trunk 12, go to 002, ether trunk 12, and 003 ether trunk off. Okay, that's all I need to. 
Okay, that's all I need to. So when I do a display eater trunk 12, you notice that the priority is 32768. And you also notice that the selected here. Just now it was unselected, remember that? And uh, in the uh, S1, we have configured a priority as 100. So here we have an actor. You notice that here on switch number two, even though I have not configured anything, all right? So I just configure the eater trunk, LCP static, and that's all I configure. Now what really happened here is uh, only two of the trunk is selected. The reason is because that the actor will determine two of these rows. So if I jump back to switch number one, display eater trunk okay you can see that it's selected now the priority is still the same 32768 okay that's the point here the point number so what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the uh, LSCP priority so I go to the uh, Ethernet 001 LSCP priority remember that the priority is 32768 the lower the number is higher priority so I'm going to use back the same priority 100 and 002 LSCP priority 100 okay so here you should have nothing change okay as per normal I'm sorry I actually changed to 10 here but it should be no issue as well but just to make it consistent LSCP priority 100 okay so now I have a consistency here and uh, what will happen here is that if I do a uh, disable, or in this case I shut down the interface, two and three will become the uh, eater trunk, all right? Because the maximum active that I need to is uh, two. All right, so uh, I'm going to go to the uh, interface E001. I'm going to do a shut. Okay, so I shut down the E001. Did I? Yes, I did. So what I need to do is I just do a display, eat a trunk, and now you can see from here, number two and number three is selected, and this is unselected. Even I go to switch number two, it will be the same. Okay. Now assuming that now I'm going to um, undo the shot on zero zero one, undo shot. Okay, so we just wait for a while for the interface to come back and uh, Ethernet 001 are supposed to use the preemption display eater trunk. Okay, so you give them enough time for them to fill back. As you can see that the priority here is 100 and this is 32768. The preemption has been enabled. Okay, there's a delay of uh, 30 seconds. So we just wait for the 30 second time to expire. Uh, it will be uh, part of the uh, eater trunk. Okay, so we just wait for a while. There you go. All right, so you can see that uh, number one and number two is being selected. So just now, uh, this guy is actually up, but it's not unselected. The reason is because of the uh, preemption delay. All right, so here we have the uh, configuration of eater trunk. And uh, we also look into how the uh, hashing is being configured. The hashing is actually being configured using uh, source MAC address. Let me do a checking over here. So if I just go here, this is all the configuration of the ether trunk. Okay. Now another command that you can do here is the display interface ether trunk number 12. Okay, so once you conf uh, do a display command, you're able to see that the trunk is up. Okay, and you also can see that the hashing is based on the uh, source MAC address. And this is my bandwidth 300 maximum. Okay, sorry, that is my bandwidth over here. Okay, the current bandwidth is 200 megabit. And you also can see that two of the interfaces is up and one of the interface is down because uh, I specifically mentioned that only two of these uh, link will be up at any one time. All right, so here we have all the configuration of the ether trunk. So let's look into the troubleshooting on the layer two technology. All right, so here, uh, firstly, we are going to look into the Mac fault. Now, if you have a Mac fault or 
you have a 40 MAC address. So we need to correct the MAC address entry. Okay. Now check whether the configuration is correct. So you can do a display MAC address. Okay. And you also need to check your proxy ARP. So in proxy ARP, you will have to inner as well as the inter. All right. So please make sure that you use the right command. So check whether the loop exists. All right. Loop cause a uh, broadcast storm and random MAC address to be unstable. So especially when you are using the STP disable. All right. Now why you want to disable the STP? Because in Huawei we have a concept called smart link. Okay. And uh, next you check whether the device is disabled for uh, MAC address learning. And uh, remember that uh, you also can configure the uh, learning priority. All right, and check whether the MAC address has been a black hole or in this case a blacklist. So if, if you blacklist the MAC address, then this MAC address will not be usable in your switch. Now next, the common one is the MAC address flapping. So first, check whether the MAC address flapping detection is enabled. All right, so by default, the MAC address detection is enabled. You also can do the uh, display MAC address flapping to check the uh, statistic. Check whether the VLAN are shielded and uh, query the MAC address flapping information on the device. So earlier on, I already showed you how you can configure the MAC address flapping, uh, how you can actually prevent it. Okay, And uh, finally, we also need to check uh, the VLAN, dynamic VLAN cannot be generated. All right, so first, check whether the GVRP uh, enable on the interface so the command is GVRP on the system as well as on the trunk port GVRP. Check whether GVRP is enabled globally and in the interface okay and check whether the trunk is enabled. Uh, check whether the registration mode is correct okay so remember that we have a normal, forbidden and fixed okay so make sure that it is normal all right and uh, check whether the static VLAN has been created. So these are some of the common uh, problem or in this case the uh, layer 2 troubleshooting that you need to know. And uh, for the exam preparation, so know your layer 2 properly, all right? Uh, your ARP, your MAC address, the flapping, the proxy ARP, okay, the um, uh, what we call the uh, post securities. All right, all these are important. Know your configuration very well. Understand the technology so that you also understand the troubleshooting and try to practice more of your layer 2. Okay, so practice ARP, link aggregation, GVRP. All right, uh, understand the uh, proxy ARP, LACP, GVRP. All right, uh, if let's say you are in doubt or not quite sure, always visit the headaches. Okay, and uh, try to understand what's the example in the headaches. All right, that will become very handy. Okay, so I hope that uh, you enjoy uh, this uh, session on the layer two. All right, so hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.